Hey everyone, in this video I want to introduce to you a Flask extension called Flask Restless. So Flask Restless basically provides mappings between your database models that you've created with SQL Alchemy and creates uh, RESTful APIs for you that map directly to those database tables. So why would you want to do something like this? Well, a lot of times when you're writing a RESTful API for a lot of purposes, the only thing you need to do is display the data as it is in the database or allow the user to insert into the database directly without any processing in between. So you're not really transforming the data. All you're doing is taking the data that they give you and inserting it into the database. Well, if you do this by hand, if you code all this by hand, you end up writing repetitive code that basically uh, where the only difference would be the name of the tables that are being inserted into and read from. So Flask Restless kind of takes care of that um, reading from the database part and writing to the database part. So you don't have to think about that at all. Once you have your database model set up and you map those models to um, Flask Restless, it will take care of everything in between. So you don't even have to have a route for your API. Flask Restless will just handle it for you. And I'll demonstrate it for you in a minute or so. So first, let me tell you what I have set up. I have my database that I worked on in a couple of videos ago. It just has these two tables, person and pet. And then I have the code that imports Flask SQL Alchemy and creates the two uh, models that I have to match the tables in the database. So it's only going to take about three lines of code to set this up and we'll see how easy it is. So right now you see there's no routes in here. It's just database information. So the first thing I need to do, and before I get started, I have this config file that has the database login information that's included here. But uh, the first thing I need to do is import Flask Restless. So it's going to be flask.ext.restless and import API Manager. So API Manager is the thing that I'll be using in a second. And then I want to add the if name equals main. Whoops. Then run the app in debug mode. OK, so it's going to take three lines of code to set up two API endpoints using Flask Restless. The very first thing I need to do is uh, create the API manager. So manager is going to be it's going to be the API manager class. I need to supply the app, the Flask app, and then the database. So it takes a parameter called Flask SQL Alchemy DB and it's going to be the database I have. So this DB right here. So now I have a manager set up. And with this manager, I can create APIs based off the models that I have. So API, and I want a person API. And then I'll do the same for pet. That's it. So now I have get RESTful endpoints for these two models. So let me start the server and let me go here. So by default, it puts your API at an endpoint, your URL, which in this case is 127.0.0.1 and the port is 5000 slash API slash whatever the table name that you're working with is. So let's try person first and see what happens. So look at this. I have all the data that's in my person table. And it even shows you the, um, the child information. So I have these two tables here. I have a person and pet table. Person has uh, people names and pet has pet has pet names and an owner ID so they can be mapped back to an owner. Well, this takes care of it for me. 
So it tells me I have two objects in this person table. Um, the first one is Anthony, and Anthony has two pets. And then the second person is Cindy, and Cindy has two pets. So look how much information that's already giving you. And you didn't have to declare a route. Now let's look at the pet table. And it does something similar. It says, okay, you have four pets in the pet table. So spot, and then it tells you the owner. And same thing for Simba, Sylvester, and Mr. Frizzles. So the only thing it did was take these two models that were created and it's looking at all the columns and all the relationships that are in each one of the models and then it builds um, a JSON representation of your database model. So when you call these routes, it gives you everything you can need. So this is really great. And by default, it only does get requests. But in the next video I'll do, I'll show you how to do post requests and delete requests so you can modify the data that's already in the database. But as you can see, this is already uh, so much easier than creating your own routes and uh, kind of manually creating the, the JSON response and reading the, the request and doing something with it. All you have to do is do this managers.createAPI and Flask Restless will take care of everything for you. So I hope this video at least got you interested in Flask Restless and in the next video I'll show you how to do some more things with Flask Restless. So thanks for watching. Oh and um, before I go I'll have this code up on GitHub. I'll put it in the description below and if you have any questions about this video as always just leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer them. So Thanks for watching.